All right, so we're in our weird news segment of the show, and that means we are going to be talking about weird news. What does that mean? Okay. Weird news. Weird news. Um, let's talk about the first one. So a new study has in fact shown that drinking too much Coca-Cola or other fizzy soda beverages can do terrible things to your nether regions if you are a male. To your penis. Are you surprised? Are you surprised, Richard? To your tool. To your tool. <laughs> okay. To your um, main vein. This is a new study. Scientists have schlong. revealed that drinking one to liter... That's borderline not radio appropriate. What, cock or schlong? Drinking one liter of the fizzy drink a day could reduce, reduce your sperm count by a massive 30% Damn. and lead to erectile dysfunction. Wow. Now, this is actually pretty significant research, right? I mean, especially in America, I think we probably drink more crappy fizzy sodas than the average bear. Um, researchers at Copenhagen University found that men who classed themselves as being addicted to cola had far less effective swimmers than those who avoided the drink. Okay, so swimmers don't work. I mean, you're talking about people that are consuming a liter incredible. of Coke or whatever soda a day. A liter? Yeah. Who are these people? So, I mean, that's a pretty significant amount, but it, I mean, I'm pretty sure a liter is only like two of those like plastic bottles. 22, a day. 20, 40 ounces? Is that what a liter is? Wait a minute. I'm going to do the math. Crunch the numbers. So, Crunch I it. remember this from college. You remember this from like grade school, right? So, eight ounces. A pint is 16 ounces. Okay. So, two 16 ounces. Are there four ounces. pints in a liter? Oh, no. That's a... Oh, shit. It's chisel. Um, well, the liter is a little less than a gallon. So, like two quarts. No. Two liters is less than a gallon. A little less than yeah, a gallon. Yeah. Less than a gallon. So, it's about a, a little bit less than a quart. How many liters in a fluid... Ounce. I guess you want to do it the other way around. Yeah, you need to do it. Uh, right. Okay, flip that. We're doing some mathematics. We're going to crunch the numbers, America. Okay, 33 fluid ounces in one liter. So basically, like I said, two of those 16 ounce no, sodas. That's 40, yeah, that's 40 ounces. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's two of right, those right. 16 ounces. A little bit less than two of those. Go rich. One of those, yep. Crunch the numbers. I just know what I'm talking about. So that, when you think hey, about Googled it, is it. really not that much Googled soda. Googled it. One liter of soda. <laughs> is just two of those 16 ounces. So, so you drink lost. one in the morning? I mean, I guess you know, if you go to a restaurant and it's all, it's, like, it's all you can drink or like free refills, then. Oh, certainly. I mean, if you have Coke for lunch and then again for dinner, you're already in this territory. But these are people that like love soda, right? They're like 100% every yum, day, yum. Soda, at soda, least a soda. liter. Okay, so these numbers are pretty significant. You're talking about a 30% decrease in sperm count and erectile dysfunction. Scary. Now. What the study did show is that it's not caffeine that's causing these problems. Um, a lot of studies have been shown that caffeine relatively benign for you. Um, but what they are thinking is that there could be some other ingredients in these sodas, including a sweetener that could damage arteries in the penis, possibly preventing blood flowing freely through the muscle. Okay, so drinking your odd can of Coke every now and then is probably not gonna be a problem. But the jury is still out on how bad a daily cola habit could be for you, Richard. What do you think on all this? I mean, are you a, are you a soda man? No, honestly, like, like I'm a, none. No, I mean I have to be really tired. So what I will, my guilty pleasure is I think that's a Richard Fowler show problem is ener <laughs> energy drinks or energy drink fiends. I love the energy show. I don't even think of those as uh, soda, but I guess they are soda. Well, they're they? a carbonated beverage. They certainly um, are. We do a lot of them. Bulletproof. Yeah. Um, they're our drink of choice right now. Yeah, they're great. Shout uh, out. Shout out to Bulletproof. Um, Bulletproof definitely doesn't do this. What? No, that doesn't, it doesn't <laughs> make your penis smaller. It does the opposite. <laughs> it makes your penis huge. Like, you see these hands? It's <laughs> 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 Donald Trump would say. Anyway. I have no problems. You see these hands? No problems. It's a great soda. <laughs> but uh, with that being said, no, I'm not a soda person. I usually water. Water is pretty good. I mean, I have, I, a, like, I have a regimen, like, I that. usually do a protein shake for breakfast. That's good. You try to do a vegetable-y centric dinner meal. Uh, I mean, lunch meal, and then I try to do a lighter dinner. Not today, I'm really hungry, so. Trafalgar's gonna feed today. I'm gonna so, feast. the Feasting. whole point is, jury is still out on how bad drinking soda for you could be, but in addition to possibly giving you diabetes and making you obese, <laughs> it could also cause you some additional problems. So 
Let us know what you think about that one in the comments below, folks. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. All right.